This is my friend Adrian's 900 Monster. It's an IE from 1999. That constant clatter. So now I'm going to shut it up too. I think I need to warn you here if you've got sensitive eyes because I had to film this at work and my clothes are a little bright. Alrighty, Adrian's clutch, it's not real good. Uh, it's worse than what I thought actually. But I'm just going to knock the edges off these ridges so that when we put the new clutch modification kit in there it doesn't catch. Uh, as easily, uh, they'll probably be set differently spaced anyway, so they, they shouldn't be lining back up with the original grooves. But um, yeah, I'm just going to knock the edge off them with a file. Uh, I'll show you the plates. This is the pack, and they're pretty bad, they're <laughs> just worn out to buggery. So, uh, all I'm going to do is dress the burrs off them and reassemble it and he'll have to get himself some new clutch plates because they're, they're cactus and probably a new basket as well. But um, we'll go ahead anyway with the modifications and have, hopefully with that modification this won't get any worse uh, and he can keep riding it until he gets his, his new bits and pieces. So I had, I had a lot of burrs on the top as well. Uh, all I've done is taken the peaks off both sides just to try and prevent the just to try and prevent the plates from catching. Speaking of the plates, go and tidy them up. All I'm doing is taking the burr off. So I've taken the burrs off and uh, what I'll do is, this is the side that uh, you can see is profiled pretty badly from banging into the basket, that's the torque side of the clutch. I'll flip these over so that the smoother edge is on the, that driving side um, and that'll get him a little bit, bite him a little bit more time anyway. All right, do the next. Rinse and repeat. Is that better? You can get these in my Teespring store. Link in the description. All right, so where are we at? So I've cleaned up all the threads, um, just wound an M8 by 1.25 millimeter tap through them and uh, cleaned all the old Loctite out. So now we want to put our basket back in. Line him up. Just put a drop of uh, red Loctite on these. Got this, I, I knocked this up uh, 
when I was doing my bike. It's not brilliant. Doesn't fit exactly brilliantly, but it will do the job. Talk them up. Right. Working on the ground's great. Let's pop our spacer ring in there. All right. goes in there, putting a bit of rubber grease on him. I just put my homemade clutch holding tool in. It's no work of art but <laughs> does the job. This gets this gets talked up to 181.5 on the 900 monster. the homemade clutch holding tool. See ya. Oom steel concave ring. The modified friction plate. Then we just go through the pack, as I did with the 900. Just trying to find the uh, the steel concave standard ring. Hmm. It appear this pack doesn't have a designation on it, like it doesn't have a center punch or an O. Alright, I think I found it. So, we'll just go with it. Now, I mentioned that I was going to flip these so that uh, we weren't um, causing havoc with um, this profile really damaged side. I, I want the other non-damaged side or less damaged side on the... Um, on the torque side. Where did we end up here? Looks too deep to me. Yeah, that's uh, almost six millimetres. And we need another... We need another... Uh, Need another steel plate in there somewhere. 
I'm going to take a gamble and just put it on the outside. These are 1.5 mil. They won't be enough, so I'll put one on the inside. I'll put them both on the inside, right at the very front. I've seen a couple of people comment on removing these with a magnet. Um, it, it is probably the best way to go, and it's actually how I pulled these ones out. But I've, that magnet is at work. I took it back to work, <clears throat> so I don't have it handy here. It's certainly a lot bit easier than digging them out. I guess what this will prove is you know, we've got a clutch here that's really worn out, completely foobar. And uh, if we can get this to function and quieten it down a little bit, well then, uh, I'd call that a win. All right, so I'm going to stick Two of these 1.5 millimeter discs in here, and hopefully that'll bring it within the three, three and a half millimeters that we're looking for. It's looking a bit better. Where are we? Yeah, 3.2 millimeters. I'm calling that a win. Put a bit of rubber grease on those O-rings. They should be replaced as well. At some stage, someone's painted this standard um, pressure plate badly. It wasn't Adrian. Adrian is a painter. <laughs> he wouldn't have done a job like that. But they've bought these uh, anodized gold. Anodized gold clutch spring perches. and stainless springs. But the basket's stuffed and the plates are stuffed. And... But hey, it looks pretty. Fire it up, see how it sounds. go now I, I have not I haven't ridden this bike before this clutch mod but you know, at the risk of uh, losing my shoelaces I've got no cover on it Sounds nice, this thing. So what do I like about it? Uh, the riding position's not too bad. Normally I don't like upright riding positions. And mind you, I've only travelled about a kilometre, I haven't. I 
haven't um, got any distance on it. <coughs> I don't like the mirror's aids. I mean, they're good. You can actually see behind you, which is excellent. I just don't like the placement. I don't know. I like the feel. It does feel nice. It's got a nice rumble to it. like a train gets up to speed pretty quick so there you go we took a clutch that was completely mullered completely mullered baskets had it all the plates are chopped up it rattled like a bag full of spanners now it's uh, smooth riding, changes gear nicely, you can, um, you can find neutral. It's not slipping, so I'm calling that a win. Now we're going to hand this back to Adrian uh, and then probably take it back off him once he gets his new components because he is going to have to deal with it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I will catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.